means the decider match will be on Consulate. Do we find ourselves with a favor of SSG or Dark Zero with this map selection? Central to most matches. Echo is going to be our final ban. Again, he has the capability to instantly interrupt any plant attempt. And all inside of security, they're trying to shut down all of these staircases. The guys with the initial fight. Oh no, Volts to win it out. The guys falters inside of security. So that right back for DZ. And this has become an incredibly stalemated affair. Space Station need to find some way to make progress. They've got a one for one as they finally commit to a push. Of the next opponent here for SSG as they move in. Oh, Volts missing the initial knife. Thankfully, Eclipse still blinded from it. The flashbang that was thrown just seconds before, so he's still able to get a second attempt. The plant will go down, and everything falls to mid in a 1v2 clutch. A perfect first shot on Fultz knocks him out, and now everything falls to a 1v1. SSG with the Doka B as the very, very large Maestro begins to rotate into the pantry area. Shots flying through the wall, but he's not even looking the right way just yet. The DMR from range and Space Station with the very first round down to a 1v1. And still working this Cardiac Center and pull such a beautiful opera. That's going to be the third Nitro Cell, actually, but no, he gets down by Canadian, countering out the operator. We see him on quite often on the defense. Sunrise recognizing out the last time someone was playing in here, and he'd be absolutely correct. Bolts to take down one, all of a sudden it's into a 5v2. Eclipse cuts down one Canadian with a with a suicide. Oh no! Hyper all by himself now in the one versus four. Falling into the hands of Space Station Gaming. Hyper gonna try his best to rotate into some type of position where he can work something, but it's not gonna happen. SSG, yet another mark here against Hot and Cold, and bringing this down to a 5v3. Trades will start to come in though from Skies, who makes a big play. King Nate is able to secure himself another kill. We do have Bosco who attempt to find seven seconds remaining. They'll start the first attempt. A nice play from Hyper to pick up the next frag on Bosco. Plant going down here, and Hyper is going to be able to finish things off. Finally, putting DZ on the board. There's a chance for them to do something. Canadian actually is going to be able to kill Mint on a run out. Ella, along with Skies here. Southwest corner of the map. Fultz takes down one. That'll be a double for him on the round. Looking for two, but Sky take down as four members remain on Space Station Gaming and Thinking Nate from down downstairs. It's going to be Hyper, but they're trying to rotate up cool vibes now as Sky shuts down one. Oh, it seems like this will actually work out by Dark Zero, but it's quick trades from Bosco on the double kill with the C75. Bosco to challenge him, but Eclipse to shut him down. Outside has one more inside, and no, won't happen. Dark Zero away from the back of VIP near that TV area. Canadian with a wide swing takes down one. Absolutely rips Canadian. Rotates back in. Rampy though to trade it out. It's a three versus three and Thinking Nade takes down Skies. Goes hand and he can defuse through it. Thinking Nade runs outside. Gets dispatched quickly. Eclipse but no it's going to be Rampy again. He falls. Mint's the only one to remain now. Quick shots and he's going to have to try and bait with this diffuser. Bosco does have that M590. This thing can either sell you out or win it. It's going to be so very close folks. Oh my goodness. Three seconds remain two one Bosco gets it and space station get away what he's do, able to do to conceal himself there oh hot and cold having problems picking a target doing his best gonna take down oh rampy what a shot skies very much utility anymore a quick shot but he takes him down skies what a shot from range with Bosco tears one skies with another that's a triple in the round he's gonna have to ace it out to win and he has plenty of time but how much utility does he have he still has three stuns but it's not gonna matter and SSG pushes it to the limit on map one and needs everything as you can see into the floor it's gonna be a mark on the couches hot and cold cleans up one can he get the second he can what a shot it's nope no kill Hill. He's gonna take a little bit of damage, but Hyper through a couple of punch holes. To the east, they have both of the bars, but Hyper. What? Hyper. Hey, that's your teammate, buddy. I don't know if you. <laughs> Very unfortunate to shoot him with an AK there. Oh, and Fultz is gonna cook hot and cold. Eclipse takes down Fultz. All the utility to fight through for Rampy. The longer he stays alive, the more dangerous he is. Thinking Nade with one. Smoke grenades out, pour out the window to the top of the sink. Hyper's inside of the site. He takes down one. Can he take down two? That would have been huge, but Thinking Nade trades out Hyper. Look like a hero. And it seems that it's not going to work out for him this time. Canadian with a trade, and that's going to be map one for Space Station Gaming. Hackers usually need some way to counter that out, so getting rid of Nomad is one way to eliminate that possibility. All right, well, pretty traditional bands, Jackal Nomad. And rotates over to the bottom of red. They have to make sure that no one can rotate out. It's a 2v5. Bosco quickly shut down. It's a 1v5 post plant now. Thinking Nade has to try and find something. Cardiac sensor in hand. Can he take them both down? What a shot from Mintz after he gets up off the diffuser. And it's going to remain four alive. Well, granted, one alive if you really look at the health. Everyone else really on their last limb.
To be fair, impressive that they get as he might have been expecting. However, it seems he might have already oh, run into that, actually, my. as he's found that pick against Hyper. He's taking down Canadian. That's Diffuser as well. That's a huge pick. Volts rotating in. Takes down one. Can he take down the second? He can. Oh, with a triple for Volts on the round. It's down to hot and cold. M590 in hand. Sees one. He misses his shots. And Volts with a quad on the round. I'm telling you, man. Three players pushing at once. It does push the clash back. They've also, importantly, got another player down at the bottom of main stairs. That's going to be Hyper being a limit. Better luck, though. He finds an opener. Oh, nicely done with the clash play. Uses it to get hot and cold up close. And to pick up the win here. They try to make a push from the clash, but instead, hot and cold and Eclipse both pick up corresponding kills. And Dark Zero shut it down yet again. That 90 haul is so very important. If you guys saw it at the top of your screen when we were in the third person view, you saw oh, this should work out pretty well. Let's see an attempt to interrupt it, and even better, Bosco the caught the only activated. one that spotted it. So, clean plant, hot and cold, also killed in the process, down oh. to two. Great hold from Skies. He's been probably the most consistent player in just pure 1v1 gun duels this game. Another one, Gumine on the rotate, but unfortunately dies at the peak. The Clash looking for the trade, but Bosco almost accidentally getting that second kill with the way the recoil works out. We hear at least one explosion going out there, so it is going to give him some room to work with, but a kill is found by a cold. Volt rotates in now, takes down Hot, and down to the 4v2. Skies and Mint, the only two remain. Skies finally firing back. Volt gets traded out immediately. Mint moves up. Smoke is dissipated. He takes down one. Can he get the second flick? No, he can't. SSG with an immediate trade, and these guys are just... Logic bombs, which will be coming in for the Dokabi of Eclipse. A quick hop in, and oh, the timing for... Rain. As he rotates back in, a quick prone, and it's gonna be Skies. Oh no, last seconds, and that's gonna be all she wrote. Bosco with a quick tea bag. Let the man know, Space Station. Quickly, another stun grenade comes in now as Mint's taken up the angle. He takes down one off of a pre-fire after a thinking nade walks in the way. Time for Canadian to make some magic happen, but no, it's gonna be Bosco as he freely rotates in. Rampy kills him with a nitro cell. Volts though to trade it out. Skies and Eclipse to tack on, and it's gonna be Dark Zero all the way, unless Canadian has something to say about it. Comes to Gunfighting though, some people think that the pulse is better with it, but no, not this time around. Skies on the long angle with the ACOG and the LMG. Takes him down, quick rotates from SSG, but Skies again with a double kill. Bolts rotates upstairs, but gets ripped by Eclipse, trying to take a Goomine out of his foot, but the SMG 12. Be worried about, he sees one, but no, it's gonna be a quick shot. I believe that was Skies yet again, and it was. It's the opener on Eclipse. Oh, oh, oh though, trades not only on the Canadian, but then goes forward to find Rappy. Sit and spin on this time, Skies gets taken down. Oh no, SSG, are they gonna push it? They will. Bosco to trade it out, he's knocked it down to the one versus one. Dark Zero, and specifically Hyper. Downstairs inside of the art vault. Hyper to take down one. Hyper to take down two. And all of a sudden it's up to Canadian. Now on the rotate, but gets shut down inside of Piano. Astronomy. Oh, We're gonna try and attempt right now here. Sky's kind of having to brute force his way past that barbed wire though. Legally shredded, just like his brother Mint. And Fultz gonna attack on as well. All of a sudden it's a new 1v5 for Hyper, and he's not gonna have too much to say about it. We're going to overtime, folks. And that's the beauty of the cardiac sensor, but he gets immediately shut down. Couldn't pick his target. Fast movement makes it to where the sound cue is so very loud. Rampy with two. Another shot from Hyper. That's a play. Bosco with a quick shot, but the SMG 11 can't do it, but the 12 can. Eclipse with the post plant here. Here, trying to set things down. Fultz needs to shut him down. A pre fire takes out one, but no. A quick shot. The plant goes down, but Dark Zero! Oh my! What a round here in round 13. SSG trying to contest it, but they just don't have a real way to get in. That's going to change now. A two for one exchange into their favor gives them a man advantage. Now, an additional one. 4v2 is the way this will fall down. Two players left on the inside of the sights. Bosco is going to be able to take out one of them as he gets a double kill on the round. Now everything falls to mint. Waiting for the rotate to come in. He's going to be able to get one, yes, but they're there's a lot more players waiting just around the corner. You're wondering what that bubble is. As he wraps around the corner though, he misses the player in the plant position. Space Station, preserve and maintain themselves. They need to take the fight. Dark Zero have a man advantage, but they need someone who can actually take the fight due to the low HP. It's Hyper once again that steps up to the plate for his team. Rampy's there a second later to trade it as he takes out Hotten. So Hyper still in play right now and they need him to. Eclipse, however, this time moves in to be able to find the next pickup for Rampy. We're down to only oh. Bosco. What a find though. Eight seconds left now to try and Planet as he interrupts Hyper in the middle of it. Some damage being taken. They're gonna try and pinch him out. There's an open wall here now. He's dropped one of them. The plant's going down and they are sticking it. He's trying to spam into it, but no, that's a dead player. Finds the finisher on the
on the kill instead. Diffuser goes down and we are into the 1v1. Bosco looks to shut this down here. As the Rap is going to come in, he's going to try to encircle his opponent, but at the same time, he also moves out onto the top of Red Stairs, trying to spam in, trying to get something that'll bring him out into the open. Right now, Space Station are not being given that utility. There's the tap. Do we see a push on DZ? Yes, we do, but he misreads it! And SSG get the clutch! Now, do they have enough time for that defuse? They've got plenty! Boss Goat clutches it for Space Station Gaming, and they take a 2-0 win in overtime at 8-7 here in the Eastern Conference semifinal.